Hey guys, World's Player on here. Um, I know I haven't made a video in like three months, but um, I actually can't really make this one very long. I just gotta give you some quick tips, really quick, but don't worry, I'll make more videos. I'm actually going on a trip to Norway like right now, so I'm gonna be doing more videos on the plane to pass the time, and I got a 10 hour layover in Iceland. So, but anyway, I just actually just woke up, looked at my phone, and opened up City, and it said that there was this issue. And I had issues jailbreaking it too. So this is basically all about jailbreaking the iPhone or iPod Touch version 3.0. Um, first off, when you're using the red sn red snow jailbreak, when you get to the put the device in the DFU mode part, if you have your device in the DFU mode before jumping into that step, which some people do just because they know how to do it, um, your device when it will get stuck on waiting to reboot. So you got to follow all the steps on the red snow program. So when it says hold down the power button for three seconds you had to hold down the power button then move to the home button and then let go of the power button and stuff like that so you gotta you can't have your device in DFU mode before using the red snow program and another thing if there's this new version out like zero there's 0 0.8 red snow and then there's 0 0.7.2 red snow uh, and there's a few others as well but anyway uh, 0 0.7.2 that means it has a, a 0 0.8 version icy because you get these two new programs now with that version or with that red snow you can download a program called icy which basically reorganizes all the things that you uh, like you know how when you open up Cydia how you have the storage section and you're able to see where things are stored well icy is basically supposed to allow you to optimize all the storage used on your device whether to be to move everything into one category so you can never have any memory that's not being used or just to put the really big ones into the uh, larger cache where you get like 12 gigs or ho however many gigs you have available so um, anyway IC is not really mandatory because it worked completely fine without it before so anyway um, Cydia will have issues downloading and one big way you'll know if it's not working <clears throat> is if you try to do that um, essential upgrade you know how when you open up Cydia it says reorder I can't remember what it says, but it loads up, closes, and then you open it up again, and it will normally tell you that you have an upgrade essential. Well, if you go to click on that, um, there will be an error pop up right away on your downloading screen. That probably means that you need to get rid of Icy because the two aren't yet ready to be compatible. Because it even says on Cydia that Cydia will not be able to recognize what version it is. So you guys need to get rid of Icy and just go ahead with only Cydia. Um, I hope I helped, and if you guys have any issues, leave a comment. I'm going to Norway, and if I get internet, I'll be able to answer any questions you guys have. I'll be uploading a bunch of more videos, and another one that's a lot more formal, saying thank you guys for sticking around, and yes, I'm back. But I just had to make this really quick. I have to start packing and stuff. I actually really just woke up, but it's like 12.30, and I have stuff nose. I'm kind of sick. So anyway, um, you guys, just thank you for watching, and if you're not a normal World's Playground viewer, or World's Playground uh, channel viewer um this isn't what my videos usually like they're usually better so just you know subscribe rate five star and check out some of my other videos all right guys thank you for watching and i hope i helped um uh, and stay tuned